Hey, y'all, hey. Auntie Fia Bob's and Facts. How y'all doing tonight? So listen, this is Auntie Fia Bob's and Facts. Facts, facts, facts. Facts, facts, facts. Ooh, y'all, yes, yes, yes. Auntie Fee, we switching it up again, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started hearing people talking about sipping. Ah! <laughs> I said, we're going to be going a different direction tonight. <laughs> Dang. So, I'm going to jump in because I saw somebody else was missing. Can you believe that? And I also wanted to clear something up that was in my comment section. about a label this is respectfully okay out of all the information that i have put out to connect the dots if at any point if i thought that this was regarding empire come on y'all As many times as I have allowed my tea sippers to hear Dolph speak on it out of his own mouth, he never gave any illustration that there was a problem with his label. Never, not one time. He talked about them trying to put him in uh, make a funeral for him and he made millions he talked about how uh he was shitting on the industry because he 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 would not allow them to dictate to him a uh a, a p diddy him okay okay <laughs> let me say it like that p diddy jay-z him Okay. And we stuck. Yeah, we stuck right there. He said that he didn't want none of his partners, none of his paper route, none of none of that bending over shit to, to happen to any of them. He had the formula. He figured it out the blueprint on his own. And he was handing it to his artists as a courtesy. He was a giver. He didn't want to, to take from him. He gave advice freely. He gave money. He gave wisdom freely, no strings attached. And that mentality, that am I my brother's keeper, was 75% of the reason why he could not, in their mind, be the king of Memphis. Okay. The other, uh, I'm going to say not 75%, I'm going to say 60%. Okay. And a big, a huge 40%.
is is what what did they say? Uh, I said it earlier. Plane, trains, and automobiles, but no, really, it is pimps and hoes, drugs, cars, all that other stuff. Y'all, I've laid it out. Not one time has it factored in as if the label partnership had anything to do. Dolph was a multi-millionaire long before then. Okay? He was not he was not naive on making money and making deals. Okay? I just want to clear that up. Because when I start hearing stuff like that, it, it almost make me think that it's an intentional diversion of the of the facts. Facts is there was a bag on his head. Facts is it's a lot of drugs. Uh, what trafficking? Guns, car theft, it's a whole organized crime. Okay. So Dolph said too many no's. So now that we know that the petties and the the higher ups is, is is more higher ups than we initially was thinking. We gotta factor all of that in. Y'all think all of these kidnappings, murders, um, you know, fires have anything to do with the label? Come on now. Because huh? if you still stand, but what does that have to do about Dolph? You ain't been paying attention. You've been over there too long and you trying to come over here with that foolishness and that's not going to work. So if that's how you feel, precious sir or precious ma'am, please exit to the left. This ain't the place for you. Because we, we we too advanced. We, we, we far too advanced for that. Okay. Okay. So because it's so late, I'm going to move on over to this kidnapping, missing, a vanish, another one. I guess they let somebody go back. They figured out they had the wrong people. Let them free and, and grabbed another one. Let's check it out. So have you seen her? Police seeks help in finding an endangered woman who has been missing from Binghamton for nearly a week. Didn't something else happen not too long ago in Binghamton? Somebody noted what is happening to our young women. They grabbing them. They related to some people family or relationship, one or the other. Lord, let's pray that she is safe, not being tortured, not being murdered, not being assassinated. These people are getting calls for their loved ones. And when they don't answer to their demands, they are taking them out. This stuff is intentional. Citywide alert. Jerica Williams. She 
you've been missing for six days. Adding to her last name could also be Sean. Separate situation man wanted for kidnapping in Arkansas. Sheriff say this was an hour ago. West Memphis. So that's that Foxwood area, ain't it? Fox something. That's West Memphis. That's that them Fox Boys. Loaf Boys area. Which is which is money bag girls boys. So we got two cats that was arrested after police chase. Let's see what this is about. Memphis police have identified the two suspected car thieves accused of opening fire on a police officer. We first brought you this yesterday as breaking news on Fox 13 News at 5. Christian Johnson and Jermaine Brown are facing several charges this evening, including theft of property. Investigators say they Did stole they a white Nissan Maxima on New Covington Pike yesterday. Officers say they used stop sticks to stop the vehicle and caught the suspects Walk after a brief chase. Okay, yeah, yeah. Police say they heard a gunshot, but they didn't uh, see anyone who fired a gun. That's Investigators say they found a gun with a switch on it in Johnson's backpack. Did they beat that ass? Uh, uh, did, did he had he out of his shot in the eye? Cause I'm look nothing look wrong with Jermaine. Yeah, you don't. Know. Lot going on. Now it's a Nissan Maxim. Another chop shop bus. And it look like these fellas here. So cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Several men ran in the back of the officer at a chop shop. Cortez, DeCorian, Robert, Marlon. Hiding Alexis. Rockdale Avenue, White Haven. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how bad it's gonna got. They got women stealing cars, and they say in less than thirty seconds, she hot wired this car. A female. Two teens shot each other during a robbery near Fraser Community Center. Breaking news. Shot each other. The shooting started after one team walked up to the other, patted him down and said, 
run me your pockets. Change your, your friends. Change. change. That's what people in Fraser are asking after a shootout between two teens at the Fraser Community Center, which is, of course, a place that's supposed to be a safe environment for teens. Change your environment. Change your, your friends. Change. That's what people in Fraser are asking after a shootout between two teens at the Fraser Community Center, which is, of course, a place that's supposed to be a safe environment for teens. Many people there say tonight things could have been so much worse. Yeah, we want to get you right out to Fox 13's Rosalind Freeman, who joins us live from Frazier. Rosalind, here yet another case of shots fired. Darcy and Daniel, according to the Memphis Police Department, they were only 16 years old. Now, I was able to speak with a parent who says that the North Fraser Community Center is usually a safe place for children to go after school, but yet her son is frightened after seeing his friend shot across the street. Now, I mean, this evening, they want to make it clear that the shooting did not happen on the property of the North Fraser Community Center, but it was a very close. This was a shootout. Police told me that the 16-year-old boys are in the hospital in critical condition wow. after they shot one another. MPD also said that one of the teens have been detained and is under police supervision at the hospital. A mother I spoke with says teen crime is out of hand and this is a wake-up call for her and her 16-year-old son. 16 years old is just so frightening and I'm so glad. That's why I told my son he got to choose his friends wisely and change his friends. Yeah. 16 years old is just so frightening and I'm so glad. That's why I told my son he got to choose his friends wisely and change his friends. Yeah. It's ridiculous because 16 years old with a gun is no. <laughs> Again, both teens are recovering at Regional One Hospital. Memphis Police Department are still piecing together what caused the shootout. If you know anything, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. The two more teen shot. It, it, it's becoming more than just a, a trend. That's the norm. Shot. It's becoming a growing and unfortunate trend across the Mid South. Labana Children's Hospital gave Fox 13 an update yesterday, they telling us that this year alone they've been recruited they by the OG. Twenty-six children for gunshot wounds. Eighteen of those just in the month of January. A change is definitely needed. I, you know, I just would have to move right now. I, I just could not. I couldn't imagine. All these stray bullets. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Fighting in school. Cheerleaders fighting. Pepper spray. You know, parents at the high school fighting with kids. It's just crazy. So I wonder after he patted him down, he where was the gun? And he didn't know that the guy had a gun. He said something during the pat down. The shot was fired. So where was the gun? Three shots. He was shot three times in the leg. Did I see him? No. Three times in the left neck area, the left eye and the stomach. Oh, my. He said a backpack contained a magazine with 12 rounds. A digital scale. Oh, a mirror. Oh, okay. 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 He said, run me them pockets. And he gave him a bullet. They're trying to make me go shopping. Looking at this, I got to get away from over here, baby. But them there right there, them, 
Got my name on it. Can y'all hit the like button, please? Hit the like button. Why I go shoe shopping? Hit the like button for Auntie P. Hit the like button, please. Hit the like button for Auntie P. Okay, let's go. But this is what I wind up ordering, y'all. Right here. Oh, <laughs> ah, this ain't what we talking about. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm bad. I'm a, my bad. I'm bad. Let me get back. Let me get back. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bye. I'll be, I'll be back. Here's a little side note. Royal Caribbean. And I like Royal Caribbean. Cabin attendants accused of hiding cameras in the bathroom to spy on guests. You sick free puppy, you. This is the type of shit I'm talking A woman instructs grandson to shoot her ex. Now the 21-year-old now has attempted murder charges. Because Granny told him to do it. Still nothing about Big Boogie. Uh, the the shooting, the closing. Uh, at Cache. How is that possible? Did they pay off? The payoff is real. Okay. They was definitely there. But nothing about the shooting other than their first night. They had every sergeant SWAT, uh, TBI, ATF, ambulance, fire truck, everything, bomb squad. I don't know about the bomb squad, but everybody else was there, and nothing in the news. Over capacity. Some popped out. Shots was fired. Has he been shot in his forehead before? I bet he know what happened. Him. Him right there. Him know. Him? Yeah, him. So, y'all, before I end, I went underground and was checking out Tron and Ricky and Slim. <laughs> you know. And a motherfucker, and we'll be outside the same day. Goddamn, man, but Smooth naked. Like, man, motherfucker, do not tell on nigga. And my brother was a monster, a beast. But I'm smooth as my list. Smooth operator. That's what they call my list. Oh. I'm checking out him uh, because he said he, you know, he, he known, he a legend in Memphis. And um, he spoke a little bit on Dolph. He mentioned him, but listen to what he said about old boy. They're followed. This why. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Real Memphis lady. Come on. Let's get it. Yeah, but back to that back to that question, where I'm from. Man, I'm a I'm a I'm a old South Memphis baby. 
Ali by my from what I understand what mom said, we we I was born in the foot home, we moved out there motherfucker when I was like three or four, so I was I was you know I remember that but my first cousin, man, and, and my auntie, my auntie was in the motherfucker forever, like, come on. And I, I stayed, I, man, they couldn't keep me from over there. Kevin and John Frederick, my first cousin, man, you know what I'm saying? That was the first niggas that had, had, a, had a Colombian plug in Memphis, Tennessee. That's the only thing I love, check the history. Yeah, and, and, and they was flood. Man, they ran, they, they, they were flooding the city. This was, be, this was before the bow bang. This was before the bow bang. Who? That's the only thing I love, check the history. Yeah, and, and, and they were flood. Man, they ran, they, they, they were flooding the city. This was, be, this was before the bow bang. This was before the bow bang. That's the only thing I love, check the history. Yeah, and, and, and they were flood. Man, they ran, they, they, they were flooding the city. This was, be, this was before the bow bang. This was before the bow bang. Niggas weren't having, niggas weren't having, having, uh, having, uh, plugs that was out the country at that point in time. Them niggas had a real Columbia connect. Kevin and John Frederick, them my first cousins, man. My A.B., I used to be my, I stayed over there, nigga. Man, I'm talking about, it, I'm, I'm smoking weed, young nigga, you know what I'm But we was staying on, on trees. Shit, I take out walking from my grandma's house, from the house to, 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 to the foot home, to the project. You know what I'm saying? Shit. But, uh. You know what I'm saying? The neighborhood, but that's why I got introduced to the game bang shit. But I was I was already I was already off the foot. Gunplay, all type of shit. Robbing all type of shit. It just what it is. So we moved out to the haven. I was a different I was a different beast, a different creature. I was terrorizing that motherfucker, I swear to God. I was terrorizing that hole, you feel me? <laughs> they would come to a nigga that gang shit, but it is what it is, though. So I always been, I always been like this, man. I, I, it's like, motherfucker asked me when I jumped out the porch, I was born out the porch. You know what I mean? So, hey, listen, man. <laughs> It wasn't, it, it, it wasn't just eating South Memphis, man. I'm talking about the mound, man. Uh -oh. I had Kenfo, all my niggas in the mound. Man, North Memphis, I'm talking about North Memphis, Frazier, Hand, and Rodney. Man, I'm talking about, man, come on, bro. See, that's what it was. See, like, I'm from Tree Street, man. I'm from Tree Street. I'm from off that end. Man, I used to stay on Richmond, Roanoke, all that type of shit. All my, most of my family, most of my family, what these niggas don't know, most of my family live in Riverside. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about, I'm talking about some of the most reputable people in Riverside. If a motherfucker knew, you know what I'm saying? But I don't, I'm I, like. I'm um, hush hush, man. I built my own reputation. You know what I'm saying? Cause our whole family from from the south, and and, 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 and everybody know, man. My we got a big ass family, and it's a whole bunch of man real ill motherfuckers in my family. Oh man, come on, man. Listen, man. Hollywood, High Park, crazy. Nigga, I was fuck with niggas like, man, man, Diddy, man, hi, man, we got man, hi, Diddy, Joe, no, Mark Green, nigga, fuck you talking about, yeah, man, uh, goddamn, man, I'm all in, I'm all in the duplex and phrase, you fucking with T and, 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 and goddamn, Mark Carr, Dad, the Rocky. You know what I'm saying? I burnt 
burnt a nigga over there, you know what I'm saying? I had to, I burnt a nigga over the night shit, you know what I'm saying? But the nigga I ain't tell, though, you know what I'm saying? He ain't tell, he kept it solid, me and the nigga, we ain't never get this cool, cool out of it. But he had to stand down, if he, 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 he wasn't gonna retaliate, or who is that then, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, well, I'm talking about my Mitchell Heights, goddamn Ben Hounds, all this shit, nigga, I stayed in the feet. Come on, man, I've been here, motherfucker. Well, I've been here, where well, everybody know a nigga, everybody know, everybody know the rich, everybody, everybody know skinny, everybody know man. Hey, for real. That's real nigga talk. That's why I be. But the hood, the hood that I, you know what I'm saying, my affiliates, like, shit, I was plugged in, like, like I said, I'm from the other end, so niggas, niggas I ain't really, they wasn't, it's, it's, yeah, it's some real niggas. You down. ain't saying nothing, man. Like, man, that shit ain't nothing like where I come from. I'm some real niggas. She ain't, but them niggas I ain't really knowing what I do and the type of nigga I am, you know what I'm saying? Only a few niggas I fuck with over there like me. And they, they, you know, they can only tell a nigga because I ain't going to tell a nigga shit. I don't like, I ain't going to do no talk. Telling me, they don't tell these niggas shit. Let them niggas, hey, let them niggas find out. Even though, even though, you know what I'm saying, I'm reformed and I didn't, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I done changed my life. Man, she, I still ain't gonna let no nigga uh, disrespect me. It, 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 it ain't gonna be that easy. I mean, I've been everywhere, man. You feel me? <laughs> I done stayed everywhere, man. Man, in the mound. Fuck with my nigga Lil Winston. Man, Billy Will. Man, she, man, Hernandez quick. That nigga quick. That was my nigga. Y'all know the nigga. Man, shit, man, Hernandez quick, that nigga quick, that old my nigga, y'all know the nigga, man, rest in peace to dog, dog, that man, but it ain't my fault who I grew up with, quick, man, Hernandez quick, that nigga quick, that old my nigga, y'all know the nigga, man, rest in peace to dog, dog, that man, but it ain't my fault who I grew up with, quick, that nigga quick, that old my nigga. Man, we were going to Otis, man. Me, quick. Man, I'm talking about well. Went out, man. It was probably about to be, man. We turned that motherfucker. We, 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 we beefing with these other niggas. Stay over there off of, uh, off of Get Well and shit. You know what I'm saying? We had to get this, tow the whole motherfucker school up. Man, man, come on. It's fucked up how it turned out for my nigga, though. You know what I'm saying? But, but my boy always been, my boy always been in, stay in some shit, been into some shit, stay into some shit, though. You hear me? It's fucked up how it turned out for my nigga, though. You know what I'm saying? But, but my boy always been, my boy always been in, stay in some shit, been into some shit, stay into some shit, though. You hear me? <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I'll be back, y'all. I'll be back with some more. I just want y'all to understand Auntie T is going deep. She going deep off in it, ain't she? She going in the trenches. She going in the trenches. Hit the like button. Hit the like button for Auntie T. I'll be back. Man, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I'm from South Memphis. Like I said, nigga, I'm from, hey, listen, I'm a Memphis nigga, period. I'm a Man, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I'm from South Memphis. Like I said, nigga, I'm from, hey, listen, I'm a Memphis nigga, period. 
I'm gonna make any any side of town motherfucker gonna know me and they gonna know my work. They gonna know my work. And we gonna get into some deeper shit like motherfuckers will play with a man. Niggas don't play with me like 